Question number one, the following bar graph show the number of days of rain for three months in two cities. Which statement best compares the number of days of rain for Lahore and Islamabad during the three months? Option A, Lahore had more days of rain than Islamabad in June. So if we look at the bar for Islamabad and Lahore in the month of June, it's same for both. So option A is not correct. B, Islamabad had more days of rain than Lahore in April and May. So if we look at the bars of April and May for Islamabad, these are longer than the bars of April and May for Lahore. So option B is the correct option here. Question number two, what can you infer from the below given picture of the snowy trees? Option A, it is January. We cannot guess the month. Option B, a blizzard is about to happen. A blizzard is a severe snowstorm with high winds. But it is about to happen, it means it didn't happen yet. So, option C, the weather is getting warmer. And option D, the temperature outside is cold. So, option D is the only suitable option here. Question number three, the Smith family is having a house built in New York State. The town where the house will be built gets over 100 inches of snow a year. Which type of fruit should the Smith family have for their house and why? Option A, a flat roof so the snow can pile on top. B, a slope roof so the snow can pile on top. C, a flat roof so the snow can slide off the sides. D, a slope roof so the snow can slide off the sides. So they should make a slope roof so the snow can slide off the sides. So option D is the correct option here. Question number four, the following table shows the average monthly temperatures for a city. The city has two seasons, summer and winter. Which set of months most likely fall during winter? Option A, May to October, B, January to June, C, July to December, D, November to April. So we know that the temperature is cold when it is low in numbers. So we can just pick one column. Uh, we can take temperature in Celsius or Fahrenheit. So I choose Celsius here. The temperature is low in the month of November, which is 19, then 15 in December, 17 in January, then 15 in February, and 17 in March. But in the given options, we the suitable option is from November to April. So we can consider April here as well. So our option D will be the correct option here. Question number 15, the following table shows estimates of where fresh water is sorted by percentages. What is the greatest source of fresh water? Option A, lakes, B, rivers, C, groundwater, D, glaciers and ice. So we can see 0.25% of the water is in the form of lakes, 69% glaciers and ice, 0.006% in rivers, 30% groundwater and less than 1% other sources. So option D will be the suitable option here. Uh, glaciers and ice are the greatest sources of fresh water because 69% of the fresh water is stored in the form of glaciers and ice. Question number six, we can take waste materials like newspapers and glass and use them again. If we take them, they are collected and sent to plants that will turn them into a new products. This will also reduce the size of landfills. Option A, remove, B, reduce, C, reuse and D, recycle. So recycle means converting waste into reusable material. So option D will be the suitable option where we collect it and send the things to the plants and they will turn them into new products. Question number seven, we depend upon nature to supply us with the raw materials to make the things we use every day. These dash such as trees for making paper and oil for heating and for producing plastic products are limited. We must conserve them for future use. Option A, natural resources, B, minerals, C, sources, D, materials. So trees, oil, rocks, minerals, water, these are the examples of natural resources. So option A is the correct option here. Question number 8, during the water cycle, water moves dash. Option A, only between clouds, B, between lakes and soil, C, between plants and soil, D between earth and air. So during the water cycle, water moves between earth and air. So option D is the correct option here. 
Question number nine. The following table shows approximate volumes of ocean water by percentage. Arctic one point five percent, Atlantic twenty three point five percent, Indian Ocean twenty percent, Pacific Ocean forty nine point five percent, Southern Ocean five point five percent. Which statement is a conclusion that can be drawn from the data? Option A. The Atlantic Ocean is the saltiest of the five oceans. B. The Pacific Ocean holds the largest volume of the water. C. The volume of the water stored in each ocean will change depending on the season. D. The volume of the water stored in each ocean has changed because of continental drift. So, if we look at the table, uh, the title is Ocean Water Volume. So, we can conclude that Pacific Ocean holds the largest volume of water because it is having 49.5% of the ocean water. Question number 10, what will happen if there is low amount of precipitation over a period of several years? A, there may be more flooding. B, there may be more snow. C, there may be uh, a drought. D, there may be more severe thunderstorms. So if uh, there will be low amount of precipitation, it will cause less rain and then it may cause drought. So option C is the correct option. Question number 11, two identical blocks are heated to different temperatures. The blocks are placed so that they touch and heat begins to flow between the blocks. The pair of blocks is insulated so no energy escapes. Later, the temperature of each block is measured again which pair of temperature is possible. Here, if we look at the option A, the temperature of the second block is same which is 373 degrees Fahrenheit and the of temperature of the first block is increasing which is incorrect. In option D, the temperature of both the blocks is increasing, which is not right. So, rule of the heat is that it always travels from the warmer side towards the colder side. So, in option C, we can see the heat is, has traveled from the second block to the first block, but that is not right because maximum the temperature of uh, both the blocks can be same. But the temperature of first block cannot exceed the temperature of the second block. So option C is not right. Option B is the only correct option here. Because when heat uh, traveled from the warmer side, like from block 2 towards the colder side, towards the block 1, it's still less than the uh, te temperature of block 2. So option B is the correct option here. Question number 12, what are seasons in order? So option B is the correct option here, summer, fall, winter, spring. Question number 13, in one uh, day in January, in the town where Fatima lives, the sun rose at 7.20 a.m. and set at 5.30 p.m. What would you expect her shadow to have looked like at 7.30 a.m.? So we know that the shadows are longer in morning and evening and uh, shorter at noon. So, the shadow will be longer because it's 7.30 a.m. And uh, sun rises from the east. So, the shadow will be in the opposite side towards the west. So, option B is the correct option. Her shadow will be long and cast towards the west. Question 14. Read the below given text. Then use the map to answer the question. The slope or steepness of land is often different from place to place. On a topographic map, steepness is shown by the spacing between contour lines. Parts of the map where contour lines are closest together show areas with the steepest slopes. Complete the following sentence. The contour lines near point A are dash compared to the rest of the map. So the land near point A is dash than most other places shown on the map. If we look at the contour lines near point A are closest and they are uh, steeper as well so the close uh, the control lines near point a are close together compared to the rest of the map and land near point a is steeper than most other places shown on the map question number 15 the smallest bones in human body are found in the ears Question number 16, the below given uh, model shows sunlight reaching part of earth as earth rotates. Look at the point on earth marked red. Complete the following sentence. 
it is about dash at the point shown red on the model option a midnight b noon c sunset d sunrise so we can see that red mark is exactly in the center so it is about noon at the point question number 17 match the following animals with their adaptation that help these animals to survive in winter frog bear and turtle so the first one is migrates longer distances which is correct for turn second is undergoes hibernation which is correct for frog and third one is grows thick fur on its body so this is for bear so so we will arrange it like frog second point bear third turn first so option d is the correct option here Question number 18, select the use of energy that did not add to air pollution. Option A, the engine on the garbage truck burned natural gas. B, the engine on the container ship burned fuel made from petroleum oil. C, the sun and wind dried clothes on an outdoor clothesline. D, all of the above. So, option C is the only option here. Question number 9, in which of the following speed of sound is maximum? Space, seawater, air or gold? We know that air is a vacuum so sound cannot travel through the space or vacuum. Gold is the correct option here because particles of the solids are packed together. So sound can easily travel uh, with the maximum speed as compared to water and air. So option D is the correct option here. Question number 20, the position of the shadow changes with dash, the position of the light source, B, the movement of the light source, C, both A and B, and D, none of these. So it is quite obvious that if we will change the position of the light source or if we will move the light source, the position of the shadow will be changed. So here option C is the correct option, both A and B. Question number 21, which is the one characteristic of the parents that can be inherited by their children? Option A, deep scar on chin. It can be due to any wound. Option B, snub nose. Snub nose is a type of nose that is inherited by the children. Option C is technique of swimming and D is cut nose. So here option B is the only correct option. Question number 22, the water in oceans cannot be used because dash. It is salty, it is harmful, it is toxic, it is acidic. So we cannot use ocean water because the amount of salt in it is too much. So that's why we will choose option A. It is salty. Question number 23. A substance chemical structure depends on the number and types of atoms in each of its molecules as well as on how those atoms are arranged. Substances with different chemical structures have different physical and chemical properties. When a substance is a reactant in a chemical reaction, its chemical structure changes. During the reaction, the atoms that make up the reactants are rearranged to form products. After the reaction, the products together are composed of the same atoms as the reactants. But those atoms are arranged in a different way. So the products have different chemical structures than the reactants. The chemical reactions that produce soap is called saponification. During one day, type of saponification, oil and sodium hydroxide undergo uh, a chemical change to produce glycerol and soap. As a result of this reaction, the soap has different properties than the oil and sodium hydroxide. Some of these properties are what give soap its cleaning ability. Which of the following statement is true? Option A, together the products of chemical reaction have the same arrangement of atoms as the reactants. B, a substance chemical structure affects its properties. C, soap is reactant in the sponification reaction. D, a chemical change does not occur during sponification. So option B is the correct option here. Question number 24, which is correct about pollution? Option A, contamination of atmosphere, B, contamination of the water, C, contamination of the soil, D, all of them. So, option D is the correct one, all of them. Question number 25, meteorologists can make predictions about weather events. For example, the passage below describes how a meteorologist might use observations of Earth's atmosphere to predict a tornado event. 
A meteorologist uh, uses atmospheric maps to examine air masses, which are large areas of air in Earth's lower atmosphere. The meteorologist notices that an air mass with dry air is approaching an air mass with warm, moist air. In the same region, there are strong winds higher in the atmosphere. The meteorologist uh, recognizes that this combination of air masses and winds in the region could lead to a tornado event. Which of the following statements is supported by passage? Option A, some air masses contain dry air, other air masses contain moist air. Option B, meteorologists are scientists who study meteors. C. Scientists can study masses to predict weather events. D. Both A and C. So here option A and uh, C both are correct. So we will choose option D. Question number 26 which is an example of someone using a simple machine to do work. Option A. A boy runs across a football field. B. A banker counts money. C. A mother pushes a stroller up a ramp into bu a building. D. A girl eats a sandwich. So a ramp is an example of inclined plane, which is a simple machine. So here option C will be the correct option. A mother pushes a stroller up a ramp into a building. Question number 27. The images below show two pairs of magnets. The magnets and different pairs do not affect each other. All the magnets shown are made of the same material, but some of them are different shapes. Think about the magnetic force between the magne magnets in each pair. Which of the following statements is true? Option A, the magnitude of the magnetic force is smaller in pair 1. Option B, the magnitude of the magnetic force is smaller in pair 2. Option C, the magnitude of the magnetic force is the same in both pairs. D, none of above. So here, uh, in pair 1 and pair 2, same types of magnets are used. But the distance is different in both the pairs. Like in pair 1, the distance is more as compared to pair 2. So, we can say the magnitude of magnetic force is smaller in pair 1 due to distance between the pair of magnets. Question number 28. A tugboat tows ships out of harbor. The tugboat starts pulling the ships when they are stopped at a dock. The ships have the same acceleration as they begin to move away from the dock. Order the names of the ships to show the size of the force the tugboat applies to each ship. Option A, Adelaide, Premier, Bright Star, Gardenia. B, Premier, Adelaide, Gardenia, Bright Star. C, Gardenia, Bright Star, Premier, Adelaide. And D is none of above. So we can see the mass of the Gardenia is uh, maximum. So obviously, the tugboat will apply maximum force on Gardenia. So we will write it at the first place. Then we have bright star, which uh, mass is at the second position. So we will write it after Gardenia. Then Premier will be written. And at the end, we will write Adelaide. So option C is the correct option. Question number 29. Most of the substance around you exist in three common states of matter, solid, liquid, and gas. In each state of matter, the particles in substance behave in a different way. In a solid, particles are packed together tightly. In a solid, uh, in a liquid, particles are also close together, but they are able to slide past one another. In a gas, particles are spread far apart and they move quickly. Which of the following diagrams shows state of matter in liquid form? So, option B is the correct option. In the liquid, particles are close, but they are able to slide past one another. Question number 30, assertion and uh, reason are given below. Choose the correct option. Assertion, a force should act on an object for work to be done. Reason, the object does not show displacement. So option A is both assertion and reasons are true, but reason is the correct explanation of assertion. B, both assertion and reasons are uh, true, but reason is not correct explanation of assertion. C, assertion is true. But reason is false. D, none of the above. So that is uh, correct option C because assertion is true here but reason is false.